The new Cub releases this year have gone dark, very dark, and even faster with the launch of Dark Speed. So 2023's offering from Cobra have gone big and they've gone fast, or so they claim. They've improved their aerodynamics on all three of these heads. They've also gone with a 13% larger face and AI-inspired hot face. Plus, all the drivers have gone with a multi-material chassis with carbon crown and sole plate as well. What a mouthful, well done. It's a, it's a massive mouthful, that, isn't it? All things considered, Nick, this driver's come in very quiet, very under the radar, dark and speedy, which is exactly what they're claiming to be. Exactly. I think it's a good piece of kit, and they've still stuck with the, with the uh, mobile weight technology as well. Yeah. What do you reckon to them? If truth be known, Rob, we struggled a little bit with last year's model, Eurojet, um, didn't do it for us, no. didn't sell many. The ones that we did sell, we had some returns, uh, the crowns were coming off. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Didn't so LTD was great, the one before mm. it. These are good story behind it. I, I, I like the colours. I like the technology. I'm not sure I like the shape, really? but it'll be interesting to have a look. Yeah, yeah. We, we have three. We have three models. Uh, we have a low spin model. Low spin model um, to me looks um, a little bit like a long drive driver. It's got deep face elongated back and, and, and the, the, the sole is lifted off yeah, so for aerodynamics. It's more aerodynamic when you look yeah. at it and we'll show you that in the, in the footage as well. Yeah, a few customers have said it looks triangular. Mm. So the aesthetics of this one is, is, is not the most appeasing to the eye. See, to me, I would probably enjoy that. Yeah. I think from a performance point of view, it definitely does what it says on the tin. It is low spin. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see that during this video. Mm. Then we've got the standard head, yep. uh, movable weights. I think this is probably the go-to driver for the majority of the population. That's what I'll probably be comfortable with the most anyway, because of the front and back. It's just like what I've got in my F9 driver. Yep. I'm using a Cobra F9 currently, guys. And that's just going to be, it's going to be feel like home from home for me. Weight forward, slightly lower launch, lower spin, weight at the back, get yep. it up in the air, yep. launches a little bit higher. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Max. Max is slightly draw biased. Yep. These manufacturers these days don't like putting a big D on there because no. it, 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 you know, I think it stipulates everybody thinks they're going to hit it left. But yeah, so this is the Max version. A um, few different shaft options. We're going to go this. This is the um, UST Lin Q. So this is one of the stock shafts that Cobra are offering. Cool. So at the moment, we're sticking with some stock shafts for the, the for the purpose of the videos. Yep. Um, all come in a few different lofts. Low spin comes in eight, nine, ten and a half. Um, standard head comes in nine, ten and a half, and twelve. And the max also nine, ten and a half, and twelve. So proof's all interchangeable. Be, so proof's going to be in the pudding there, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get onto the sim in a minute. We're going to go through the normal shots. Plus, we're going to we're not going to bore you with all the shots. We'll hit a few, bit of a chat, and then we'll take a look at the stats. Shall we have a look at it? Great. Let's crack on. So Nick. We're going with a max one first, aren't we? So we've got three grams in the heel. Yep. And we've gone with 12 in the back, haven't we? Correct. So this one won't be as much draw bias, because I'm hitting a bit of a draw at the moment, funny enough, I'm after fading it all for the last couple of weeks. So we're going to go with this one a bit more neutral. When we do another video on this, we might try and swap the weights around a little bit. We'll see how we go. Titleist RCT balls. Yep. Pink uh, uh, normal setup T. Yeah. Slightly draw bias. Give it a go. Perfect. Looking down at the head here, mate, I've got to admit, it looks, for a draw bias driver, it's not what I'd expect. Yeah. Far from it. And the colour, it, that, that, this, this matte black, I think is, it's the, one of the most stunning drivers I have ever looked at. I think they've done a really good job, all the manufacturers, Rob, that no longer does the draw bias look a little bit ugly and no. closed. And closed, no, it doesn't. You know, and it, we could actually alter that on the, shof, uh, on the shaft sleeve. We could, we could actually open it a fraction. They've got eight settings on it, haven't, yeah. haven't they? So yeah. that's good. And also as well, this goes with, uh, with comes with our cost as well. It does. Which is great. Yeah. So, yeah. 
And like you say, we can make that more draw bias for anybody, any of the public out there. We can put the heavier weight towards the heel. Which we might do, depends on how I'm going to make the shots. <laughs> okay. So we'll have a play. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. That was all right. For accuracy. You'd take that first shot of the day, wouldn't you? Uh, your first shot of the day all day long. Shot, Rob. Nice, Rob. What I like about it is that it's not got... I'm not finding it's got that right to it. Yeah. <clears throat> Spins good. Some of the other draw bias drivers we've tried, I was still able to, to push them out there, and this one doesn't seem to be doing much like that. <clears throat> right, mate. So this is pretty much my gamer, isn't it? Yeah, this is this is. I would class this as the standard head. Yeah. I think this is going to be the. Um, I think this is going to be the main contender. I think we'll sell more of these than the other three, other two models. Yeah. So we've got this one weight at the back, twelve grams yeah. at the back, three at the front. That's pretty much the same set. It's the same weight as what I've got in my F9. So this um, is about a five or six year newer version of your driver. Of my driver. Yeah. You know, to for looking down at it again, it sits a little open. Okay. Which is interesting. Yeah. Um, which and and we've set that to neutral. To neutral, yeah. It yeah. Just, just sits a little bit open, but I don't mind that. Um, the shape-wise to it looks stunning. Um, shape-wise looks really, really good. And the little, the little accent, the, the, the Cobra accent on the top just looks, it, it looks the part. I do, I just, I just, yeah. Okay. I just really like this. You've got to remember that Rob has been a Cobra user now for... 2019. Every, ever, ever since I've known you, I think. Yeah. 2019, yeah. 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 Since, since, since January 2019, I got it. Okay. Um, but and nothing's beaten that F9. Here we go. So let's see. Shot. Great shot. Shot. So, this is so, a low spin. So, cool. Come on in here, Nick. Right, so talk to me. We're just quickly going to talk about this one. So, we're now in the LS version. What's different with this? So, we have a neutral weight, what I would say, slightly heel biased. Mm. Yeah, we've got the two lighter weights in the, in the fade and, and right at the back. Obviously, with this driver, the weight's designed. If the weight's pushed further forward, should on paper give us the lowest launch and lowest spin. Because that's what interested me there. I thought it would have been two stronger weights at the front, yeah. a lighter weight at the back yeah. to make it more lower spin. But having the, the weight more heel balance, it's not right at the heel, it's in a shape no. way of form. Yeah. But having that, that what class is neutral weight more in the heel than the heavier one, I'd have honestly thought that would have been... And this is factory settings, so we're not playing around with no. this. Obviously, you have got the adjustability. We've also got heavier and lighter weights that we can, we can move about if need be. But this is factory settings. So that we'll do in another video. But this is, it, it's, in terms of aerodynamic-wise, it's so much more aerodynamic than looking yeah. at the, the front end of the, the actual club itself. Um, it just looks, it's a different golf club. It's a different shaped golf club that they've brought out, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, but you said it's got more of like the long drive. Yeah, that. I think so. It's got the deeper face and it's got that, that elongated back, almost triangular back, hasn't it? Where, where, where they're trying to move a little bit of weight but leave some weight forward also. Bit of a, a Carl Berkshire influence, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and, and, and also you can probably see this when you put this down, but this, this, this it, it kind of rises as it, as it goes up. It's almost like a skirt at the back. Yeah, it rolls up, doesn't it? Yeah. It does very much so. Right, going to be interesting. Let's see if I can get my inner Carl Berkshire. <laughs> Now, as you were saying with this one before, Nick, looking down, it's more elongated and more like triangular. Yeah. I love that look in a driver. Good. I absolutely Good. love that look. So we keep saying beauty is in the high of the behold. Rob, that does nothing for me, this shape. I, I much prefer a more traditional, traditional slightly... Per I like the deeper face, though. I do yeah. like the deeper face. Deeper face looks, looks really, really good. When you've actually seen it from the front end, yeah. it's like you're never going to miss it. What about the matte black? 
Love it. I like that. I, I, I must admit, I like that. And I like yeah. how they've done the carbon where it blends into just yeah. a straight so matte black. You almost can't see the face from the crown, can you? No. Just, just, yeah, I, I like that. I it, must admit. It just morphs in yeah. really, really well. Yeah. Really, really well. It's a stunning, stunning club. Aesthetically, it's stunning. One of the best I've seen. Rob, that's one of the best shots I've seen you hit in, in weeks. This is unreal. I mean, we've got to factor in that it's not it's not carrying as far as some of the others, no. but it, but it's definitely rolling out further, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, 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 like I said, it, this this will be your linksy shot, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, thirteen hundred spin. That's not pretty. You know, well, it's, it's not good in the swamps of Manchester at the moment, pal, is it? <laughs> Manchester, the only place where the Canadian geese fly home for winter. <laughs> Hey, Rob, I like this. This is good. You're not the only one, pal. This is good. Hey, we may have found your gamer, Rob. We may have found your gamer. <laughs> Great shot. Another good shot. Shot. Right, Rob, well done. Finished our, we completed our little testing session. Um, we've got uh, three new Cobra heads. We've, we've, we've tried the Dark Speed Max, the standard Dark Speed, and the Low Spin. And then also we've included in the Your Gamer. Rob's been with his gamer now for quite some time, and um, it'll be interesting to see if the new technology, just how much more the new technology is giving him. That's the spread. So that's the entire shot you've just hit. If we quickly, first of all, uh, concentrate on strike location. That was the dark speed max. Standard dark speed. Low spin. And then, of course, your current gamer, F9. OK? Yeah. So let's take a quick look at the averages. If we dive in here, there we go. So we've hit 10 shots with each. We've condensed everything, as you well know. Yeah. And if we look at the different stats, Club speed, don't see a great deal of difference there. Um, a little bit more speed with the dark speed. I think I said earlier to you, Rob, um, maybe there's an element when you get the Cobra in your hand that it's something that you've used and used well for the past few years. So, so maybe there's, a, there's a, a little button inside you that says, I'm going to swing the Cobra a little bit faster yeah. um, and, and I'm going to get some good results because you, you, you know historically it's worked for you. Um, very interesting. Ball speed, your current gamer, 133 miles an hour. Um, the max was 133, and then we saw an increase, 134 with the dark speed, 136 with the low spin. Surprising up with the low spin. Yeah, yeah. Very and, surprising. Yeah. Um, okay, so next thing we would look at is carry distance. Your current gamer, 211, very similar to the, to the, to the max, obviously, similar, similar ball speed. 215 out of the standard and 218 out of the low spin. Yeah, that, that was surprising that with the low yeah. spin. And of course, this is your spin. We've been using RCT balls. So this is as, as accurate as we can get off a of pink tee. Um, and probably what I would expect to see, Rob, highest spin is on your old F9. And then of course, lower spin peaking out with the uh, a low spin head. Yeah, the low spin head, we had like a 1500 in there, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We could argue, is that a little bit on the low side? Yeah. Well, actually, I'm going to say it's not because really? that ball was peaking out at uh, just about 72 feet high. In an ideal world, we could do with a fraction more hang time, but that would be a good club to use on firm, fast, hard yeah. conditions. Well, and considering the standard dark speed as well, I only had 73 peak out on that one. Yeah. So that was that's interesting. Yeah. Your gamer definitely gets up in the air a little bit more than these guys. This is going to interest you, Rob. Dispersion. Yeah. Okay. So white one is the max. Okay. So definitely favouring the left side of the fairway. Yeah. Orange one is the uh, standard dark speed. Yeah. Blue is the low spin. But the tightness on that. Yeah, so tighter, certainly the longest shots of the day. First thing you've done for me, Rob, first time you've broke a few tees. 
Yes, yes. So, so well, that's a good sign. I'm going um, hench. Yeah, and then the uh, red one, that is Rob's current gamer. And now, I know you hit your gamer great, otherwise it wouldn't have been in your bag for the last three or four years. Yeah. Um, but I would say, certainly we've seen an improvement there. Very important though, Rob, first thing that we must take from this is, you cannot stereotype a, a typical golfer. You know, if, if one would assume that you shouldn't be using the low spin, this little exercise and testing session we've done, would tell us otherwise very much so yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's a massive shock to me that I, i'd be interested to see what that would be like with the weights moved yeah uh, and just to see could that could we get more out of that that's yeah. another video in itself i think and rob's commented earlier off camera that he, he he liked the feel of the shaft so obviously we used the same shaft in each of these it was a stock shaft it was a link q a ust shaft it's quite new to me it's not a shaft i'm, I'm familiar with rob said it felt really really good so could we get even more out of these by putting yeah. one of those bag boys in on the wall? Yeah, I, th I, think, I think we need to try and custom fit it and dial it right down just to see what more can we get. Yeah. That, that in itself is going to be a video in itself. I think we could have found Rob's Gamer. I think, I think that dark speed there on the early videos we've done, I don't think anything's beat that yet, Rob. No. There you have it, guys. That's the dark speed done. And to be fair, it's one of the few manufacturers that you can say has done what it says on the tin. It's a quick driver. Even in my hands, it was quick off the face. It was fast. Better than I expected, if truth be known, Rob. Yeah, I, 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 I no, like I said, Cobra's done some great drivers over the last few years, and there probably is a bit of a comfort feeling with me because I've had the F9 for so long. But that is far and away the best Cobra driver I've hit since my F9. It certainly rekindled my um, appreciation of how bad the Eurojet was. And yes. you know, it's put some faith in moving forward that the dark speed is a, is a completely new animal. And more the points, the pricing point, just over 400 yeah. pound. Yeah. The pricing point's going, so what you're getting, you get a lot of bang for your buck with that golf club. Yeah, to be fair, Cobra's been good at that for a long time now. They've been really good with the price points on it, haven't they, yeah. to, be, to be fair. So, you know, if you still want a premium product at a decent level of price, looking at how, how the pricing is on these gamer drivers these days. Yeah. That's probably right in there going, you might want to have a look at this. Yeah. Plenty plenty shaft options built lots into that price. It. Yeah. Lots of tech, lots of shaft options. Yeah. Loads of adjustability that you can do plenty with that. Plenty adjustability. That's so a good point. Something for everybody with that one. I think that is going to be a nice surprise punch. Uh, and it lived up to its name of dark speed. And before we go on that note, I've got to say the 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 accents that are on the, the little red flashes, the, the, the blue flashes and stuff like that. But in terms of how the writing is, I'm a geek. I'm, I'm, I'm a nerd. There's got a hint of Star Trek writing in that. <laughs> and how they've done Dark Speed. Bit of car for you Trekkies out there. Brilliant. Guys, look, I can't thank Nick enough for this, um, for, for letting us come down here and do some more filming with him. If you like what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, subscribe, follow Nick. All his details are going to be on the description in the video. To sum it all up, that could be one for the Builder Bag series without a shadow of a doubt. And that right there is the best shot of the day that we've hit with the low spin driver at 227 carry. Should never have happened, but it has done. Just, yeah, just such... Rob's new gamer right there, 260 yards. There you go. I can live with that. We just got to carry now. That's, <laughs> that's the next one. Guys, all the best. Take it easy.